Thank you, Mr. Sugarman, teachers, parents, and graduates of 2013. I considered a bunch of schools like Harry Ainley, Vic, Lillian Osborne, <laughs> and even went to some of their open houses. When I went to JP's open house, I thought, well, at least I know I don't want to go there. <laughs> but I'll admit, Chef wasn't my first choice. was and it made me nervous. I remember at the open house have got to get him lost in circles and I didn't know where the heck I was going. And I was just so nervous. I wanted to go to the science department and ended up in the language hallway and then wanted to go check out options and once again ended up in the language hallway. <coughs> all the teachers kept on telling me it's like the backbone of an E. And all I could think was where is the E? Which part of the E am I in? During that trip in the Chef Labyrinth, I realized that there were really great teachers and programs. So, I chose Chef. Plus, there was cotton candy, so Chef pretty much had it in the bag. The thing I was most nervous about was how large the student body was. With the graduating class nearly 700, how can a person ever feel like they belong? But during the first chef assembly to welcome the great tens, it felt like less like a welcome and more like a homecoming. When our former principal, Mr. Bradley, first said, T what? We didn't really know how to respond, but we caught on quickly enough. Now, as the graduating class of 2013, we can proudly respond, T what? I was a T-bird. So I figured out what Chef meant to me, but my partners and I, being analytical people, wanted to conduct a statistical analysis of what the graduating class of being a T-bird really is. 100% of students say that Mr. Pollitt should be in the Guinness Book of World Records for best mustache. from when they went to Chef, 35 years ago. <laughs> Additionally, 30% of respondents have admitted that they have had a crush on Constable LeBlanc. <laughs> Only 20% of students have admitted that they've tried eating in the book box. The other 80% are lying. <laughs> Where did all the time go? It seems like only yesterday that we started this awesome chapter in our lives. But now, after three years, our chef experience is finally coming to an end. But through this experience, we have created lifelong friendships and bonds with many students and teachers. We will all undoubtedly cherish these creative memories for the rest of our lives. Being a part of Chef has not only changed all of us, but has given us these memories that we will always carry as T-Birds. Every one of us has a special moment at this school that we will reminisce about and laugh about at our first reunion. As the motto goes, once a T-bird, always a T-bird. We'll look back on those moments during registration when we waited in anticipation to see if our ID picture was going to be even uglier than the last year. <laughs> We'll remember the $89 that was spent on smoking Mr. Lionel with a pie in the face during the carnival for the cure. We'll laugh about the time when a Valentine's Day heart was way too high for someone to reach, so it just stayed there for weeks on end. We'll always wonder about what made that stairwell smell so bad. 
We'll never get those hours back from when we stood in line waiting for our monthly bus passes. We'll always remember that one gas leak that sent us home the moment we got to school. <laughs> we'll miss looking at the clock thinking, I could get food from West and I'm going to be back before nine. <laughs> and all that money we spent trying to win, roll up the rim, one in six chances to win, I don't think so. <laughs> and those few days every year when Tony Loop in the Rugby Tournament meant you got to this class. Then looking at your teacher and being like, please sir, may we go to the Totem Hoop game? <laughs> The most important question a T-bird can ever be asked. T what? We are! <laughs> Cue the video. The children said it was a good. Walking into a classroom and shooting everyone with confetti. It's a total mess. 